All right, shalom, shalom, uh, Boaz here. Well, out on the land, and you know, I realize I haven't even done a YouTube video uh, in over a month now. But uh, you know, things have been very quiet since the Roman pagan New Year has started. We've gotten through all of the uh, pagan holidays, and so uh, things have been quiet on the business front, so I've been uh, here on the land most of the time. I mean, I've been doing little projects here and there, but uh, and then got uh, sick, got a little cold, but, uh, you know, we're coming through that. But things are, well, we are blessed, and what we are in the process of doing now uh, uh, is you know, preparing for, uh, the spring, because it's amazing how 2019 just blew by, and, we, I, you know, I, I firmly believe, uh, you know, me and another, another brother, we were talking, uh, I firmly believe that time is just moving by quicker, and, uh, you know, wow, it's been five years since, uh, I made the decision to come up out of her, my people, and obey the word, uh, to live this set apart life, and let me tell you, the the growth has been phenomenal, and I'm still growing, and I really do thank the Father for it. Um, but you know, there's a lot of things that's going on uh, in Israel and in the world, uh, and you know, you got to be vigilant. You have to be focused because there's so many distractions that's going on, and. You know, what I wanted to talk about today was just being focused and making sure that you are uh, keeping your eye on the prize because you're not going to accomplish anything in life if you are wishy-washy, if you're fickle, if one minute you're thinking about doing this and then the next minute you're thinking about doing that. You're not really going to make any progress in life. And, you know, I, I speak to a lot of people. Uh, uh, out there in the world and they see the progress they see what's going on and anybody's been watching you know the channel for uh you know any amount of time you know they know uh you know where i started and you know the progress that's been made because they've been watching and and uh, you can't make progress and you can't move forward if you're filled with fear if you're filled with doubt if you're filled with unbelief and this is the spirits that seems to be plaguing uh, people today. Uh, I'm from New York City, and uh, still to this day, five years later, because uh, I came out in February five years ago, and a lot of people looked at me like I was crazy. A lot of people looked at me and said, you know, what are you thinking uh, uh, moving all the way out to the backwoods? You don't know anybody out there. But, you know, I mean, you know, if I can survive corporate America in New York City, uh, 34th Street, 42nd Street, uh, uh, the financial district, I'm pretty sure that I can uh, uh, survive this because that's what a den of thieves and vipers and, and pits, pit bulls and dogs and sharks are. Uh, uh, that's promoting this debt-based uh, monetary system. But the idea is that you got to be focused. You have to... Uh, uh, be of a person that, you know, if you say that you're going to do something, do it and commit. You know, I imagine, you know, five years ago, you know, I'm I'm doing these videos and I got my little garden out in my front yard in the suburbs. And I said, I'm moving, I'm moving, I'm moving. And I turned around and it didn't move. And everybody, look at you, you hypocrite. Look at you. You don't even believe what you what you say that you believe. That's why I say don't necessarily listen to what people are saying, but watch what they're doing. You watch their footprint. You watch, you watch what they're doing because it's going to tell you everything about their true character, intent, personality, and uh, 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 real motives uh, in life. And a lot of people, uh, uh, you know, again, they call me up and I, and I try and, you know, depart wisdom advice because I've gotten wisdom and advice on this thing on how to make the moves and how to properly make the moves. Um, but a lot of people, they just simply put, they will not do it. Um, and it's not like anything good is going on in their lives now. You know, I, I've said it once. I've said it a thousand times. I mean, I had it good out there. I mean, I wasn't struggling. Life was good. But when the Most High put this truth in my way, I mean, it just it just destroyed my life. And but He's given me a new one, and I'm and I'm I'm blessed, and I thank the Father for it. Um, but you're gonna have to you know make the decision in your mind and in your spirit to. 
you know, uh, do what is necessary in order to get yourself from point A to point B. And it's sad that a lot of people are just not going to do it. But, you know, it can be done. Uh, but one of the things that I want to talk about uh, as well while I'm talking about this focus thing is that, you know, growing your own food and making sure that you have uh, uh, the nutrients necessary. Because I tell you, when I look at people today, I can always track it back to the high fructose corn syrup, to the aspartame, to the fluorinated water. You see, you see this right here? That is well water. That is that is spring fed well water. You see? You see? It's not laced with fluoride. It's not laced with lead contaminants or anything.